So somebody came up with an idea that we need to find a quick way of detecting health-related issues or problems. And so the machine has to come in to help. We have heard of that, right? I teach a couple of new to the machine. It will easily find the cost and then it will make the way easier for the medical doctor responsible to uh, uh, prescribe medication for them. Okay? Now, for us to come up with that machine, yes? Are you from this guy? This way. This should be a first time, right? No. I've never seen that one. You know this way? Yeah. Have you written a sign? So, for you to, to um, come up with that machine, there must have been something which should that somebody to think about uh, coming up with the, the diagnostic machine. So the kind of a problem, a problem that has to be there for one to come up with a research, uh, there could be a problem which is already there, or you can try to find out <coughs> means of solving existing problems that are there, or fasting certain uh, uh, processes you could conduct yourself. These days, if you go to the bank, in some banks, you're going to find long queues. You could find out, try to find out what, what, what happens for people to have long queues. Well, in other banks, you just go and do your transactions anyhow, anyway. You know, you can deposit money uh, uh, on the ATM. You know, whereas others you still want to go inside. What causes that? Is it that people are afraid of uh, 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 the unknown? Technology. That when I go on the machine, then if there's somebody behind that will prove to be uh, a person who, who is not learned, who is not technologically sound. Okay. So you prefer to go inside there. It's like the online learning where people are not so comfortable to uh, doing online learning, but a face to face one. What is the challenge for online learning? Does it mean that those who do online learning cannot have the proper required knowledge? Where is the fear if at all? There is fear that I see the mother and I met the, the teacher in front of me. That's when I get some good, that's when I understand. So when we're talking about research, if this is a systematic effort to discover, a systematic effort to discover or confirm facts. And in trying to discover or confirm facts, what do we use? I mean, what we do, the procedure that we follow, we investigate. And that process of investigation is what makes any research to be scientific. You could come up with a topic that you may want to research on. Okay. Sometimes you could come up with a, uh, uh, you would want to make some understand the research that happens. Yeah, I 
hard to do it again. Mm -hmm. okay. So we are saying that for you to uh, come up with the research, you might have wanted to um, investigate something. And in order for you to investigate something, in psychology you need to follow some procedures, scientific methods. And that is what makes each and every research to be scientific. When you follow procedures. They are art stages. And so when we start looking at uh, how to write a stage paper, you have chapters. And in those chapters you have stages. So when you follow those stages properly, that's what makes it a scientific research. But today we are uh, more into looking at research ethics. We want to understand what the research ethics are. If we have an understanding that the research deals with uh, investigating a problem, yeah? or investigating something, using proper procedures, research, then what is research ethics? How would one and, uh, uh, explain what is research ethics? What is that? How do you understand that? It's morality. The way of living. So when we talk about morality, we talk about uh, ethics, we are looking at the right way of living. The wrong way of living. That is ethics. How do we understand ethics in research, in psychology? We already defined that uh, uh, psychology as the study of the mind and behavior. And so when we're talking about ethics in psychology, we'll also go on the mind, human mind now, animal, if I talk about Mind. Human mind, or we concentrate on mind and behavior of living things. When you are conducting research, you want to discuss something. Yes, what are
using what? What we use to interview people?
rock mendo kuchao kama na dad kama sakaramo kama karibu kwa i need to find out that children from year 1 uh, 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 to year 3 do react in this way okay we start slapping the child how do they get provoked and how often do they get provoked so it has to be a child with that case yeah for me to get that needed information who am i remember i'm an investigator So I should first uh, uh, reach out to the details. They'll tell you, mm -hmm. I Has to be imposed on the innocent soul. No, 
then I would have answered my research. That would not carry any weight. Which area are you doing research on? 
if it does not appear put in the village, child development and growth. Uh, it will have to appear where in the uh, main objective. Okay? Of the research. Each research has got the main objective and main objective or general objective and uh, specific objectives. My specific objective is number two, around four or five, which are going to direct you to the research I'll be dwelling on this and that and that. For example, you talk about identifying child reaction towards what? Being sent when it is in the morning. Being sent to go and buy something when it is morning. Being sent to buy, go and buy something when it is so. You specify specific objectives want you to get specific answers on how the child reacts. Well, now, my main point was uh, when you are doing research in a village, in a community which contains children, which contains anybody, any animal, get them children. Before you start conducting that research, collecting your data, you need to have letters of permission. First of all, I need to have a letter from my institution. In this case, we would have a letter from Universal Zero. That allows you, from the department, right? That allows you to go and conduct a research that we are aware uh, this person is conducting research on this topic. Why are we specifying? You can go out there to have the so you need an identification. Now, what again? You need identification of where you are coming from and which research title are you dwelling on. Has it been accepted by the university where you are coming from? Has it been accepted by the university where you are coming from? Has it been accepted by the NGO you are coming from? Or working? If you are dealing with kids, children, anybody who is a child, anybody under um, 18, below 18, you need a parental consent. Do you know what consent form? Okay? Consent what? Form. Oh. Mwana uh, may not have sound thinking, right? So any knowledge that you are going to get, because it will be published, or it may be published, then you need content from a guardian or a parent. That's why I was asking, if it's a, a school scenario, you ask permission from the head, you ask permission, the head must also consult with the teachers. And after the teachers have agreed, which you can try now, so will you be available? Then this is the telephone. I need to, the, the, the head teacher now has to communicate to the parents of the children. In case anything happens. And the parent has to give the go ahead. If the parent or guardian has not given a go ahead, you cannot conduct that. So research ethics act as guidelines. You get it, sir? They act as a guide on how to conduct research. And it also helps to protect those to be interviewed. I am going to sign that I'm the one who is uh, interviewing you on this research topic. You have to agree that you are ready to give information. And you have to agree that the information that you give may be published out there. If you are not comfortable with your name being mentioned in the research, you tell him or her to say it. 
the, I want to remain anonymous. When we arrive, Tim Mariba will cut him with the anonymous. <laughs> or, uh, name X says that you remain anonymous. Anonymous. Unknown, right? Unknown mm -hmm. person says this, 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 this. What we are interested in is the information that you are giving us. Now, ethics. You need to assure me that the information that I'm going to give you, the certain information, you just want to have a good way that um, understand how certain things happen. I need to be assured of confidentiality. That is one aspect of research that is confidentiality to the client. There is there is certain research which is very uh, serious that if I am to give you information, I may need to trust you. For example, confidentiality. We're talking about confidentiality, right? Here is a situation where you have been sent by the organization to go and find out about LGBT issues related to HIV and AIDS. Do you think somebody can give you information there? Any issue? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> we all know that nowadays lesbianism and homos homosexuals is not something which somebody can just come out boom 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 and let you have been heavily funded so that you expose yourself. But other people are doing those things in, in, in hiding. Now you are asked to go and find out, for example, the population of people who are involved in homosexuality in Malawi. Where are you going to get them? They can only give information to you if I mean, they can only give information to someone that they are confident about, somebody they know, you know, they cannot feel intimidated or discriminated against. So you need to assure people of confidentiality. Otherwise, if I see what I've told you anywhere else, I can sue you. Don't do that. That's how serious it is. If this is. That's why we're talking about ethics in research. Ethics in research. When I am conducting, it's, it's a counseling session, right? You are a lady, I'm a man. And I see this lady is crying. I'm a counselor, right? I see this man is broken down. Uh, you are a counselor, lady, right? You want to, to comfort him, right? He should stop crying. Eh? You want to, to, to stop her? He, she should stop crying. Sorry, please. Eh, say you're sorry from a distance now. Because what will happen now is you get more sorry, you start so sorry, sorry, it will end in a kiss. I hope on the good ethics, you are done. You are done. Even if I, I respond to the kids, but you took advantage of me in my circumstances. That's how it will come out. If you were like a guardian to the person, that the person confided in you so much because you were the friend to the friend or to the wife or to the husband or to the girlfriend, <laughs> Do my degree, but you went to that, and you find you go to the other one's arm, and then you will be trying to. Okay. It will be taken that you were taking advantage of the situation. That's very, very important.
No, but she responded with yes. Under her circumstances, she would have responded. Most likely, he was to respond because he was helpless. So his mental ability was not, he, he was not himself, she was not herself.
planning, research, ethics. One of the ethics in research is planning. Where are you going to do your research? So the, the title should determine where you are going to conduct your research. Because that would be your contribution towards the bank knowledge of research. Someone was saying, ah, wherever you go and see for say you when you are conducting research, you need to come up with something totally new. Then whenever you read things, it's like people have already studied this. When I go about this topic. Talk about development, people have already written a lot about development. But this research is giving me headaches. I just love it. They're telling me that it has to be something new from me, right? From me. There are many people that have written about um, child emotional growth. But you know what will make my research to be mine and never by, done by anyone? First of all, I, it has to be published. Okay, at the end, it has to be published. But first of all, um, I will look at this question. We're all talking about child emotional growth, right? But the one who wrote was talking about child, child emotional growth in South Africa in a particular village of their center. So when I conduct it, like child uh, 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 youth emotional growth in Malawi, the case of uh, University of Middle first year students, I know that no one has conducted that research so it will be mine. First year students, talking about my students, Others have written about different places, but I have shut it to narrow it. So the most important thing when you're conducting research is you narrow it. So it is a village or compound. Narrow it, for example, to this preschool. It's all about emotional growth and development of children from year one to year one. But your target is what matters. What is uh, your target population? Location of your target. Very important. So we are talking about planning. Planning is very important when we talk about ethics in the Why? It will help me to, to do it. If I am doing my research in Insults, it does. I have not planned. How much money will I, will I spend? I don't know. How many people am I going to record in my research? I don't know. The sample size is not there. So then you may end up using a lot of money or using the little that you have and not completing the research because the funds will end on the way. Planning. Well, so when you are uh, uh, doing your research in planning, you're supposed to come up with the budget. How much airtime are you going to use when you go out for uh, uh, for data collection? Will you eat? How much will you spend for the whole duration? Which month will it be? Are you going to, 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 to use air to be calling in order to source information? How much are you going to use? Are you going to do some printouts? How much are you going to use? Are you, are you going to be somebody uh, uh, you went to be tight? How much are you going to use? Stationary. So you put stationary. Planning. It's a verb. Are you going to use the transport? Are you going to use when you write transport? 
Is it person? To what? For its public. How much are you going to use for your one? You indicate all those things until the end. Are you going to pay the interview with? Indicate how much. And then at the end, you put the total budget. That, guys. When time comes for you to be writing a research proposal, these are some of the things that you will get. Most of the time, you will still find them in 30 years, 40 years. Okay? Yes. Good. You are initiated 